put it in. And Brown, good right hand by O'Grady, but Montalano able to hang in. He must be made out of concrete. He landed a right hand just as Montalano was starting his move. It should have knocked him on the canvas. that O'Grady's moving around on his toes so confidently this far into the fight must mean he's got great confidence in himself and great confidence in his conditioning because Montalano is still digging his toes into that canvas and letting fly with everything he's got. And a 20 left. Oh, great setback. Tenth round. Next Friday night here on NBC, Wilfred Benitez. Tony Chevrini as the Friday night fights return. Friday, right here on NBC, the former WBC 108 champ Benitez against Chevrini, who has been on fire as of late. <laughs> Devastating series of blows by Monty, which was taken mostly on the gloves and arms by O'Grady, and then O'Grady coming back to punch. This fight continues to be well back and forth, and Montalano comes right back at O'Grady with a severe combination. Right, that right hook that landed on the ribs of O'Grady moved O'Grady over two inches on the canvas. And it showed in his face. It hurt him. Tough body blows. Hang on leash by O'Grady. Oh, oh. Keep up, run. keep up, keep up. Oh, no but by O'Grady has hurt body, but the referee is not giving him any time. Keep and up, he says. Keep up, run. And part of the O'Grady family is doing Montalano suffered a cut above the left eye in the third round, but came back very, very strong. They did masterful work in the corner. Team. They did sensational work. Neil Serrano is one of those kind of guys that knows how to take every second and apply it to the pressure. Again, a great move by Money while we're talking about cuts. He's talking about fighting. Again, a low blow by Sean O'Grady. Unintentional, but... There it is, it hurts just as bad. And they had an exchange of low blows in the 10th round. In fact, Sean's dad and manager Pat O'Grady told Sean in the corner, hey, forget about the low blows, don't get yourself involved in that. Oh, that was a great Watch the us, watch the blows. One minute in, round 11, the referee, Gene Busano, out of Omaha. Again, neither fighter dominating. Each seem to be satisfied to trade big punches and big rounds. And they keep this fight going down the alley into an even fight. It's who takes these last two rounds. I'm amazed with the number of right hands that Gonzalo has landed on Sean O'Grady. There goes another one. Right hand lead, naked right hand leads without a jab in front of him. He should be getting killed doing that with Sean O'Grady. Halfway through, 11th round. Left-hand lead attempted by O'Grady. That was blocked. Leading to the exchange. And again, O'Grady is complaining that he was hit by a low blow thrown by Montalano. I think if you keep score, Montalano's been hit low much many more times than uh, John O'Grady. Things getting a bit testy the last couple of rounds. One minute remaining. Round 11. Gone with a great rally, and now he's met by a great rally. Monty throws crisp, hard punches. Bernie, I'd have to say, uh, win or lose, Gonzalo Montalano certainly has won respect and should make a move in the rankings. Oh, I think he should. And if he can do this good with John after 11 there even, great. then I think he's certainly a world-quality boxer that should be in the top 10. And doing it in Sean's home territory here in Omaha. And this is what Crossroads fights are all about. Here's a kid just fighting out of California, gets on national television, and look what he's doing for himself. That second clap, round 11.
While Montiano and O'Grady continue to contest a U.S. boxing title, they're fighting for Olympic titles in Moscow. And to that end, some news, good news and bad news for the Soviets today. Soviet basketball team upset for the second straight day, beaten by Yugoslavia today in overtime, 101 to 91. But in the women's 800-meter final, the Soviets came through with a sweep. Perhaps the biggest upset of the day came in the men's 10,000-meter competition. Lasse Viren, with four gold medals to his credit in the last two games, did not finish in the medal running. That medal, gold medal was won by Mira Yifter of Ethiopia. Let's go back to Omaha for the 12th and final round. And this is it. 12th and final round of the deadly matchup between Gonzalo Montalano on the white, Sean O'Grady in the green. As Rudy has been telling you, he has it as an even fight. And both O'Grady and Montalano have to approach this final round as if it is a war that they're going in even. And certainly Monty is doing it. And how many times have we seen two great punchers get together and, and not knock each other out but go to the final bell punching? Here we have another example. Many figured this fight wouldn't go five with as heavy a punch as both of them are. And here they are, winging away in the 12th round. What has been an excellent lightweight match. And on the line is Sean O'Grady's United States Boxing Association title. And his high ranking in both the WBA and the WBC. Montalano certain to move up. One minute in. Final round. Oh, what bombs Montalano just landed on Sean. Good right right by Montalano. Oh, Brady looking at his corner again. Like saying, what is it? What am I doing wrong? And O'Grady comes back with a combination. It has been that kind of a fight. Halfway through the round, and we'll have to say that the referee has done an exceptional job in this fight. In this fight, he's let these guys go at it. And Pat O'Grady yelling at his front. Full combination. And that's what you call a fighting retreat. As Montalano advanced, he got hit three or four heavy combinations. We're approaching one minute left. In this 12th and final round, Montalano with a right hand oh, uppercut. And Sean better do something spectacular in this one minute that's left because his title oh, is... Oh, right hand again by Montalano. Oh, so well, once again, we are in Omaha, Nebraska, and it'll be interesting to see how they score this one. Montalano was able to land and send O'Grady back. A right hand by Montalano, a right hand by O'Grady back. They seem to be copying each other and both of them are landing. What in the world? for that. We apologize, but it was indeed a great fight. We saw Montiano experience a cut over his right eye in the third round. Possibility there, they would have stopped the fight, but the doctors let it go on, and Montiano came on to fight the final nine rounds with a great deal of flourish. Sean O'Grady and Monty Montiano for the decision. Let's go back to Omaha, Nebraska. We will rejoin there our announcers at ringside, Marv Albert and Ferdy Pacheco. Here's the decision. Just a moment ago, the decision about Sean Brady, the winner over Gonzalo Montalano, split decision in a very tough fight. The referee, Gene Brazillo, had it even at 118. One judge, Dick Nolan, had it 116-115. The other, George Troop, 117-115. Very close fight, and we feel that it was justified. Even though it was in Omaha, it was perfect decision. So Sean O'Grady has won it from Omaha, Nebraska. Marv Albert, Bernie Pacheco saying so long.